Titi Karaba Bashanda Rabako Zebagenti Bazete Ka Glory be to Jesus. So Kalibu Sana for tonight broadcast is such a night to normalize the book of Esther tonight. And I believe God is going to overturn tables in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says he overturned the tables were overturned. And I believe tonight there are tables that are going to be overturned. In your family, there are tables that are going to be overturned. Kuna mabu ameko mahali pare. God is go, going to overturn all those things now. So, karibu sana mahali ulipo. Tag your friend. Invite your friend. Help me to share. Tag watu kama 20. Wacha tumalizi with another level of glory. With a high level of anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, breathe God. Chochote keme nuru na shetani. God is overturning tables. Chochote walikuwa mepanga. God is overturning. In Jesus' mighty name. So thank you, names. God bless you. Thank you, Kamau Royce. Thank you, Rusi Joroge. Kuna watu wengi sana wako mahali hapa. And uh, wengine wanatago marafiki wao. Piaton, God bless you. God bless you. Maina, win maina. Thank you. Stay sinoni. Karibu sana. Muthoni wa mugo. Karibu. Hakishako bomege na watano. Tonight we are climaxing this book of Esther. God has overturned the tables. Oh! Simon Kabara, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Mahari Uripo. Kajonito, Karibu Sana. Wein Maina, Naita, Geta wa Steve. Mwambia Kuje. Sarah Wesley, welcome and God bless you, God bless you. Ah, Sarah Karen Barikiwa Sana. Thank you for those who are sharing. Net Mugai, Ita Marafiku Wako Watano. So a blessed. Nitiyo watu wa siyato. Eh, wambie. We are hearing from the throne of grace. Serepa. Eh, hey, Serepa. Nitram. Karibu sana. Uh, this is your night. Edkish. Hmm? Edkish Marsh. Karibu sana. Liana. Karibu sana. Hakikisha kobo mengena watu wa tano. Help me to share. You miss my call. Share kwa those groups. Tag watu ambao wako mahali pale. Maneke tu, Mary Kemani, God bless you. Mary Waboi, barikiwa sana. Is it Lizzie Oligi, Wabogo? <laughs> Where? Kate Jugus. Mm, ben Kim. Ah, Pastor Jida Franjua tu watukuja tu hapa. Najua tu watuengia hapa tu. Helen Lee, karibu sana. Niti watu watika. Aris, mm, karibu sana. Ha? Na watu ambao ni wanini? Watu wa Mulera, mahali tulikuwa kwa noitu waja hile ya hile. Watu wa Mulera. Ah, Adomorera, karibuni sana, karibuni sana, karibuni sana. Mama Keboas, God bless you. Thank you for those who are tagging their friends. Asani kwa tu wana share. Eh, hey, that Agoma, where have you been? Eh, hey, Veronica Dirago, karibu sana. Pastor Jidiraf, niko na juo toi yetu. Eh, God has overturned tables. It is a done deal. Kuna meza zime pindulua. Nani soi dera, Duberi, karibu sana. Anton Gadogo. Ah, niti ya lafiki yetu Anton Mugini. Magikebeji, God bless you. This is your time. This is your opportunity now. Ah. Ah. Come here. Wacha tubarikiwe. Tag your friend. Help me to share. Joyce Kithui. Liz. Liz Mafrank. Wawe. Eh. Hakikisha komba umeshe kwa those groups. What was key to kumalizia the book of Esther? Imekuwa very interesting book. Imetujenga sana. Tumerimika sana. Tumefraia sana. Ah. Ay, 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 ay. Ah, Ben Kim, we are doing a great job. Naona kombo unaita mpaka maundu. Mwambia sitelewe leo tuki soma ikitabu. Asi chelewe hata kidogo. Nani sejoroge karibu sana? Karibu sana nani sejoroge. God bless you. Oh, Anton. <laughs> nitie marafiku wa siyato. Sara Emery nitie uh, watu wa Thrifa. Pastor Jindraf. Eh, hey, nitie watu watu wa, wa ACC and Days. Wambi wa kuja tubarikiwe. Eh, kate Georges. Eh, hey, nitie watu wa... Nitagi watu wa PFA. Nitagi watu wa PCA. Eh? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> God has overturned tables.
Hizo meza zime for so long. Hizo meza zime kuwa kwenu. Meza za magojwa. Meza za kukataliwa. Meza za kungangana. Meza za madeni. Mention all those tables. Mungu wa those tables. It may happen, happen in the book of Esther. But when you say the tables were overturned. Mungu wabaye alipindua meza. Is the same God about to nomomba siku wa leo. Kuna meza zinapinduka. Ah. Na, na, I wish Carol in favor. Hope Sharon. I, I believe a comma. Etienne. Eh? Etienne. Hey. Na believe a comma kuna watu wana nisikiza hapa na mina comma. Kuna meza zinapinduliwa. That's it. Kuna meza zinapinduliwa. Whether ni magojo meza za magojo zimekuwa kwenu. Believe God. Kuna meza zinapinduliwa in Jesus mighty name. Whether ni issues za kindua zimekuwa kwenu. Believe God. He's a meza. Uh, Pastor jo, Josam. God bless him to misho mungu. Noni, noni. God bless you so much. Thank you, thank you. Watu wa doha mungu bariki sana. Watu wa Greece, watu wa US. Mungu bariki sana. Watu wa Germany have seen you. Watu wa Saudi, watu wa Lebanon, watu wa Italy. Watu wa Australia. My good God. Kwa na watu wa Australia hapa, ni mtu wabaya miamuka na mekuja. Ah, my good God. Mtu moja, eh, shamga boro, shamga boro umetegua hapa. Kibia bio bio. Na hitu watu wa groups laka wakuja. Nitagia mtu moja, nitagia vade stimi ni. Stimi ni sija mwana hapa. Hmm. Win mine thank you kuna watu bali tufuatilie siku wale tuko mahali pale kwa Ahira uh, Isaac tuko tumeenda kwa anoint shaba pale ili mjengo uanze in actually tuliacha ukianza mjengo tuli anoint that and because some is very important if una jenga tweet uh, oh ita your pastor to anoint hiyo shamba hiyo plot una jenga nyumba ukimaliza wacha hiyo anointiwe wacha kuwa dedicated maneno we see it in the bible na tulisoma hiyo verse eh my good God, I know kuna meza zina pinduliwa. Hizo meza. Declare to yourself. Ata zile meza zina sumbuwa weki kazi. Hmm. Rako za garasha kata. Kuna meza zina pinduliwa. Wale mbao mekua limited kindoa. Wale mbao mefungwa na notomaya. Wale mbao mekua those, those niliongea about territorial spirits. Eli ya kwenu kuna demons ina finjiria watu. Vile ya kwenu kuna demons ina finjiria watu. I want to declare today. Mm, 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 mm. Kuna meza zina pinduliwa. Tere. Eh? God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Believe God, what a woman and hapa. Kuna meza zina pinduliwa usiku walo. That's my message. It is a prophetic message to you. Watu mwa doha, watu mwa kotal, I have seen you. God bless you, watu katal. Karo more vilineta kinyi, barikiwa sana. Abia mwenzako we are here. We are about to pray. Na tukio mama hari hapa, kuna meza. I do kora rara kandi mokoza. Kuna meza zina pinduliwa. Kuna meza zina favor, grace. Sarah Emily. Eh? Iva uja share, share now. Iva uja tag mtu tag now. We have just one minute. Kuna meza. Just prophesy to yourself. Jitangazia wewe ya komba. Kuna meza zina pinduliwa. Ah, Joyce mamaka kevo. Mtoto wako tunatangaza komba. Kile unahitaji. Wacha baba pindue meza. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, mwene nyadaro BP Monica Nyambura kuna meza zinapinduliwa meza zinazuilia uendelee meza zinazuilia u progress meza zinapinduliwa and I'm going to show you scripturally biblically ya kwamba this is not the first time I'm going to show you in the bible kuna time mwingine ata Jesus Christ alienda kwa temple na akapindua meza in real in real life alipindua meza Hapa tunawana ni spiritually zili pindulua both physically and spiritually. And I believe tonight kuna meza tunapindua. Kuna mabu wamekua shetana na preka hivi. Baba na ya pindua na enda vile baba ya nataka. Yes, kuna mebi destiny yako imekua drained, imekua diverted, imekua hijacked. But I believe wakati baba na pindua meza. Lazima destiny yako irudi mahali panafa. Oh my good God, who is receiving that prophetic word tonight? Who is receiving that prophetic word night? Mm. I don't know if pastor will be a No problem. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what Don't assume they are witches. They are sorcerers. What I'm saying? They are fighting you day and night. That's why we are supposed to be prayerful. That's why we are supposed to take at a hatu. We are supposed to do it. 
I told you what testimony wakastuka nikwambia kwamba nilikuwa na mjengo mahali fulani na nitulikuta kwamba tukijenga mahali fulani tuko tunakuta mpaka kuna damu ina mwanga na wanajua kwamba wakimwaga I don't fear nitakanyaga hiyo damu wanaweka vitu mpaka kwa mchanga ukimwagwa ali there are people wambo wa, watu ambao wanachukia watu wasiendelee watu ambao wanachukia usiendelee na kazi watu ambao hawatakiwe mwenyewe uonekaniwe but i have come to tell you kwamba meza zinapinduliwa in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ if kuna kitu kilipanda usifanikiwe if kuna kitu kilipanda watoto wako wasisome if kuna maneno yalitamkwa haya na nguvu meza zinapinduliwa if kuna mitego if kuna mashimo yamewekewa wazazi wako if kuna mashimo yamewekewa mpaka bwana if kuna mashimo yamewekwa mpaka marriage yako mpaka kampuni yako meza zinapinduliwa in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the grace of God by the fire of God by force kuna meza yoranda can you hear this now eh, wacha to dedicate nyumba yako wacha to dedicate mpaka hiyo plot yako eh, i know kuna watu wako mahali hapa tulisema kwamba leo nime, nime, nimefundisha pale <laughs> tukiwa na faraudhi nikaelezea kwamba it is biblical kuwa na shamba it is a promise in the bible ya kwamba watu Mungu atabarikiwa na mashamba kwa hivyo ni vyema sana kuwa na shamba we are not talking of inheritance hiyo ni mzuri sana hata uko inherit it is good hata unanunua ingine it is in the bible tumeahidiwa kuwa na mashamba halaka rabukos ana watu ni grief na nisikiza na hata hujanunua shamba i prophesy in the name of Lord Jesus Christ meza zinapinduliwa if kuna kitu kilikuwa kinakizuia kwamba uone eh, shamba kubwa plot kubwa tumeifungulisha katika jina la Yesu Kristo and don't be afraid at the kokono mabalita mko haya na nguvu kwako meza zinapinduliwa can you hear this now meza zinapinduliwa come on na karibu zaka if kuna watu ambao walinunua wamengangana kuanza mjengo but still hawajajenga nimekuja kukutangazia hili neno kwamba meza zimepinduliwa lazima utajenga ule mjengo that's it Eh, shiko kiriba karibu sana na nisa karioki are you here home say meza zinapinduliwa tele shiko anakuja kudedicate mpaka yako ni ite nitakuja kudedicate hapo eh, hati kuku kuna proti mainua hati kuku kuna na lentos zimekwama watu wamekosa kuingia leo nimekuja na ujube meza zinapinduliwa hati kuku kuna watu wamboli hapa na uchai wao na wamerusha uchawi wanakufunga wanafunga pisa zako wanafunga watoto wako wanafunga mpaka bonako kuna magodwa ya nafuata kwenu haya yaweleweki today niko na good news meza zinapinduliwa ili hati pende hiyo tunasoma in the book of Esther chapter 9 nitakuonyesha vile zilipinduliwa hata kwenu meza zinapinduliwa <laughs> vile wameweka tunapindua hizo meza this year grace geshana how are you doing mm, how is mtoto <laughs> shamga buru hata iko kuna madhabahu waliweka tunapindua hizo meza flores mkuu tunapindua meza thank you you are tagging friends eh, abia shikoke kiriba mwambie atag marafiki waambie wakuje <laughs> dokas sarepa <laughs> Oh my god wa well, prisira this is your night tuna climax tonight the book of esther na lakini nikwambia kwamba tukimalizia the book of esther ya kwamba meza zinapinduliwa yes names imagine meza zina uh, sara karen i don't know ni meza gani zinapinduka kwako wewe ndio unajua kwamba hiyo hali hiyo hali vile imekuwa mungu anasema kwamba vile hiyo hali yako imekuwa umekaa whether ni issue bwanako umekuwa mlevi meza zinapinduka usiku wa leo whether ni kazi umekuwa ukiweka inaisha whether umekuwa ukijaribu kuolewa alafu una unakataliwa ndoa zinavujika vujika divorce imekuwa ukifuata let me tell you god hates divorce god hates divorce So na before hata hiyo issue kuja ya divorce take your time wacha tujue kana kwamba kuna meza zinapinduliwa maana can believe god can stop even divorce god can stop even death alikuwa ni cancer god can stop cancer alikuwa mama kwa tembei atakuwa haoni god can stop thank you wise favor god hii meza ya covid 19 mungu anaipindua katika jina la Yesu Kristo hii meza ya covid 19 baba anaipindua mago la kanda shakori la zanti ka lusika keni ifuko hapa ito watu wa familia nataka kukubaliana pamoja maana kitu tunaomba kuomba tunaenda kuomba mombi special ya kwamba tunapomalizia kitabu cha Esther ya kwamba 
kwenu zile meza zimekuwa mahali pale zinapinduka wenda ni meza uh, arroz para kratos nisikize hata ikiwa ni meza maybe ni za kindoa maybe kuna issues mnakorofana na watoto maybe kwenu brothers na sisters hamusikizani hamwezi kuongea sauti moja meza zinapinduliwa in the name of Jesus Christ mhm mm ni promotion yako umekuwa kiahidiwa promotion na 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 umeboko boto ko promoted but mpaka wa leo although umeahidiwa hiyo promotion haujawahi pokea mpaka today niko hapa na kusomea Esther chapter number 9 Esther chapter number 9 and verse number 1 hiyo tutaisoma inasema kwamba meza zikapinduliwa Hallelujah. So we are going to pray. And as we pray, brave tables are going to be overturned tonight. Baba anapindua hizo meza. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Rashika la mama zuka shia. By the way, thank you Shamgaburu. Hizi meza wanalika unakuta kwa uliona hapa another day tulina mpaka kwa TV. Ya kwamba vile wanalika wanaenda kujiingiza kwa nyambo mabaya. Unakuta kwamba wanaenda mpaka wana vitu very strange vitu demonic sherehe zingine wanajichukua na video wakifanya mambaya sana mambo bayo poli ambayo walikuwa nasema kwamba hafai hata kutajwa kwa kanisa eh, mambo bayo ni mambaya sana they are doing it maana kuna meza tunapindua mambo bayo napangiwa watoto waangamizwa na anasa waingilie usherati waingilie pombe waingilie mambo ya ya madawa by the way kuna issue imekamata watu ni madawa watoto wengi sana wameingilia madawa wengine wanajidunga wengine ni supplier kuna kasiana kingine kalikuja kwa kanisa ka kokra 7 na kasiana kara 7 na ni ka supplier kakubwa sana kama dawa mpaka dawa zingine kalikuwa ananiambia na stuka aishi kwa mkana za kubali kutoa hiyo testimony but, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, sasa inakuwa somehow maybe to feature us kwa sababu hata wazazi hawajui bali kanaelezea kana connect na watu wakubwa ma MP watu ambao wanafaa kuwa respected watu ambao ni, ni watu wakubwa but kana tumo ku surprise imagine kuna mtu mwingine right now is talking kijana mwingine amekuwa surprise wa madawa bali kwa bahati mbaya katumo kupeleka madawa yana madawa yakapotea sasa nalipishwa pesa mingi nalipishwa sasa hivi kusema hana pesa ameanza wizi anajaribu kutafuta zile pesa ili alipe zile pesa za madawa na hana sasa amekuwa ni mwizi imagine why so ameingizwa kwenye madawa but i have this good news tonight meza zinapinduliwa in the name of the lord jesus christ meza zinapinduliwa so let's trust god as we pray manake unakuta kama watoto wachanga wanapata mimba wasana 14 years wasana 15 years wasana wa 16 years watoto ambao hawana mpaka vitaburisho wameingia kwa madawa nina kesi mingi sana nimepigua simu barus na mau tutaombea hiyo familia stay there lazima leo tutapidua hizo meza so tutakuwa na tukimalizia nataka tukubaliana watu ambao wanafuatilia hapa na wale watu kuja kufuatilia baadaye let's have a special prayer kwa ajili ya watoto wetu let's pray for children Maneka their spirit their demons targeting children. Tangu nisikize kuna maroho yana target watoto. Remember kuanzia time ya quarantine wakati covid ilikuja. Eh? Akire muadogono hii. Eh? Imagine, imagine. Kuna haya mambo karibu sana, karibu sana. Imagine kuna haya mambo yako hapa. Mwana goni brief msikia. Let's pray for our children. Tuombe. Ile tuko na special prayer tuombe watoto wetu kusabu ili waache mambo ya madawa nimebu kwamba i have so many cases watu ambao wameingia kwa madawa we have so many cases watu tu wadogo wamejiingiza kwenye anasa so many cases wengine wameingia mpaka bangi kuna msana mwingine alinistua sana i could not believe it msana mzuri eh msana baya anaweza pendeka kasiana kako sawa kasiana kako na na na, 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 na rangi ya pesa rangi ya pesa imagine bara sasa kaniambia kwamba huwa kanatumia bangi. Kaniambia kwamba kanatumia bangi. So these are the issues. But I have this message for you. Meza. Mm. Zina pinduliwa tonight in Jesus mighty name. We going to pray. Tuombe hawa watoto wetu waachane na madawa. Tuombe wasichana wetu waachane na anasa. Angalia na wadis tu sana tudogo. Tuko na watoto. Tutoto tuko na tutoto. Imagine. Tutoto tuko na tutoto. These are the things. 
these are the things. But I have been given power and authority. We silence all those things. Meza to pindue. If in Esther chapter number 9 verse number 1. If meza zili pinduliwa. Even tonight. Tunombea watoto wetu. So ifuko mahali pale. Leo kuna mtoto wako. Let's pray together na tunombea. Tuombinia kumba. Chochote keneza mumoni te ule mtoto. Hmm. Ah, Fritz James, how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Great to see you. Great to see you. Imagine, just imagine. So, kuna maroho ya na monitor watoto. Yemu waigiza kwenye mbomba baya. Watoto mengizo kwenye mbomba ya pornography. Especially mbomba ya madawe ya kurevia. Mbomba ya nasa. Mbomba ya pornography, by the way. Alafu mbomba ya bangi. Wame ingilie sana. Sana. So, we are going to have a special prayer. Tuombe watoto wetu. That's why it is very, I always insist. Peleka mtoto wako kwa kanisa. Wacha ombewe kwa ota. Dedicate mtoto wako kwa ota. Enda pari kwa kanisa mpeane. Do something kwa ziri mtoto wako. Charitikere, do something kwa ziri mtoto wako. Mlete kwa ota mpeleka kanisa ni kwenu. Wacha ombewe. Wacha tenganisho na monetary spirit. Wacha tenganisho na territorial spirits. Do something. Uneza giving when a sacrifice. Uneza at least to keep to dedicate mtoto wako kwa ota. Is not siyo tambi. Only that out of for siwa. Do it. I always do that kwa jine mtoto wangu. Nikuwa na birthday. I did it. I did it. Very important. So I am mambo tutayongeo kwa udani sana leo. Na tutaomba. We are going to pray. Na tutaombea watoto wetu sana. Tutombea watoto wengu tu sana. Baba katika jina takatifu na manesu kristo. Tunakupenda kwa nguvu zako. Asane kwa mana. Wewe ni mtakatifu. Na umetupea utakatifu wako. Baba jinsi tulivyo ni kwa ajili yako. Ni wewe umetufanya hivi buwana. Ni wewe umetuanekania. Ni wewe umetupigania vita. Ni wewe mlango kwetu. Ni wewe jia kwetu. Ni wewe ukweli kwetu. Ni wewe baba imani kwetu na amani kwetu. Father. Tuna kushukuru kwa kile mbacho umetenda na kile mbabu nazili kutenda. Tuna pasikiza neno lako. Tuna pumarizia kitabu wa hikitu mekusoma. Tuna mine kuamba. Kuna ule utukufu wa kumarizia. Izi familia zina nifuatilia mahali hapa maisha yao ya takuwa ya kawaida. Izi doa baba zita simama. Watoto wa wata simama. Waze wa wata simama. Wazazu wa wata simama. Tumetangaza wale buwa kuna hudumu otu wainu. Wale buwa bani wa ibaji una wakubuka. Wale buwa na biyashara buwa una wanekania. Wale buwa na nena masomo yao Jehovah go unafungwa milango kwao. Tunatangaza vino na tunene koba meza zina pinduka baba. Meza zina pinduliwa in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Magojo na hama kwao. Baba, madabo humabaya na hama kwao. Laana zina hama kwao. Ushudu na dhihirika. Nguvu zako zina dhihirika buwana. Ianga tumibadrisha. Ianga imejao tukufu wako fada. Ianga imejao your power and your favor and your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baba, umainuliwa. Asani kwa labo umaingia hapa kutufatilia. Asani kwa labo utazidi kuingia. Maisho hayata baki ya kawaida. Nguvu zako na neno lako baba. Litakuwa kwao. Ni uhuru buwana. Na watawe kuhuru kupitia kuhiri neno. Katika jina alesu kuruiso tunumana ata kwa mimi. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Glory be to Jesus. So mahali popote ulipe na ukaribisha tena. Get ready, get your Bible. Siku wa nimeanza, that was introduction. Manake ni viema sana. Tukwa na time ya kuombea. What to wait. There are things that are happening that are not good. Things that are happening that are not good. And let's continue praying for a nation. Let's continue praying for a nation. Tuombe taifa letu. Tuombe taifa letu. Let's continue praying for this nation. Let's declare no blood covenant to onekana tena in this nation. And we believe God. Kuna mabu wana tena na mabu makubwa na mabu ya majabu. Na kita God we serve. Huwa na jibu, huwa na timiza na huwa na fanya makubwa. Na ako hapa. Na tatutendea. Kwa ajili utukufu wa jina lake. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. So, thank you. Ita lafiki ya kuita watu wa familia. Wacha tumalizie pamoja. Ita watu wa familia. Tunapusoma hapa. Ita watu wa mbomu nafanya kazi na wawo. Ita watu wa mbomu wanalika. Ita wanalika wakoe nuchacha hapa. Waze elders. Ita wa elders wa wengine hapa. Let's pray together. Let's brief our marriages. Let's brief our children. Let's brief our ministries. Let's brief kwa mkomba. 
tarantere tarenti yako gift yako kuna kile ambacho baba anafanya in Jesus name Esther chapter number 9 verse number 1 Esther chapter number 9 verse number 1 the bible says on the 13th the day on the 13th the day of the 12th the month the month of Ada the edict commander listen to this commanded by the king was to be carried out on this day the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them i like this hoped to overpower them but i like he part i like he part to i like he part angalia babu na someone magani but now i like it but now the tables were turned but now the tables were turned meza zilipinduliwa acha nirudi hapo bila sababu kwamba acha nirudi on this day ni day gani mahali hapo What about when you you understand the day here is that in the day of the month of Adar. Why was it that in? Born Haman had come a plan that that in the Yahudi. wa Yahudi. I believe it was not just like that. No, 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 there was a reason for this. And I'm going to show you something about number 13. I'm going to show you something about that number 13. So number 13 in Bible ni namba bao si mzuri sana. Ni namba inasimamia kwa matatu. Number 13 number one speaks of sin in the Bible. Occurrence zile zimeoka ina in a surprise scene number 13 speaks of sin number 2 number 13 speaks of rebellion number 13 speaks of rebellion and still number 13 speaks of satan yeah speaks of satan so number 13 speaks of one sin rebellion and satan that's why haman manake haman is a picture of satan ame ame aliandawa yahudi wote waliwa on the that thing the day on the that thing the day because our number that thing is a number of rebellion is a number of sin is a number that speaks of satan sin number mzuri that's why we come panga hiyo number i want to declare this but i believe it he did not only very 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 important ukisikiza so if when we panga that thing we kufikia kwa sababu that thing speaks of sin and satan and rebellion when we fikira kwa hiyo siku ndio watao wa yahudi Mwanzo wa gapi wa 12 unaitwa the month of Ada. Month of Ada, month of Ada. Get this now, month of Ada. Ada, Ada means glorious. Ni mwezi wa 12 wa Kiyahudi. Kulikana na kalenda ya Kiyahudi. Ada ni mwezi wa 12. And Ada means glorious. Imagine. Mwezi wa Waisraeli wanafaa ku enjoy glory. O mwezi kukandaliwa kifo. Ada means high. High. Juu ni mwezi wanafaa kuinuliwa maneno ada means high so ni mwezi wanafaa kuinuliwa but instead ule mwezi wanafaa kuinuliwa ule mwezi wanafaa ku enjoy the glory kumepangwa that in sin rebellion and satan wa uliwe but hiyo day inaonekana ni mbaya hiyo siku ilikuwa inaonekana ni siku baya wamepangiwa bible nasema kwamba on that day mm, on the that in the day of the 12th of the month the month of ada wakati kulikuwa na decree ya kwamba kuna kifo on that day wakati watu walikuwa wayahudi walikuwa wauliwe wakati wa wayahudi walikuwa wazikwe wakati nyumba za wayahudi kuwa kupatikana vilio huko watu waanze kuomboleza kwa sababu kuna kitu kimetangazwa kimbaya on that day on that day that in on the that in the day of the 12th of the month the month of ada on that day the bible says on this day the enemies of the jews had hoped to overpower them madu walikuwa nafikiria kwamba we are going to overpower them hiyo day walikuwa wamepanga they are going to overpower them the bible says tables were overturned na leo imekuja not only as a pastor but imekuja as a prophet of God today and I want to declare hiyo siku shetani amepanga mambo mabaya hiyo siku shetani amefikiria kwamba ndoa yako itaisha hiyo siku shetani amefikiria kwamba kazi yako itaisha hiyo siku shetani amefikiria kwamba watoto wako hawatasoma hiyo siku shetani amefikiria kwamba this is the end of you that day that same day that in ile that in ajulikana ni mbaya ile that in ajulikana ni ya rebellion na ya shetani the bible says they thought you come of a power but hiyo siku Mungu akapindua meza Mungu alikuwa anasema na namna gani yes mnasema ni siku ya dhambi but mimi naifanya siku ya utakatifu <laughs> mnaita siku ya rebellion but mimi nitaifanya siku ya victory mnaita siku ya shetani but unasema kwamba siyo ya shetani hii ni yangu so vile walikuwa wamepanga hiyo siku meza zikapinduliwa and i have this to tell you kila wamepanga hiyo siku sijui ni siku gani 
Huh? They don't understand you. <laughs> Maneka, we serve a powerful God. Ile siku nafikiria kwa mba job itaisha. Mm -hmm. Ile siku nafikiria kwa mba do yako itaisha. Nime kutiku sema, iyo siku meza zina pinduliwa. Meza, ili, meza zini pinduliwa hiyo siku walikuwa mepanga. Iyo siku wa mepanga is the end of you. Ile siku wanapanga kwa mba utomboleza na utakufa. Ile siku wa shetani mepanga kwa mba mamako watakufa. Ile siku wa mepanga kwa mba huduma yako itaisha. Wibaji wako utaisha. Iyo siku. Dio bimi na sema kwa mba they thought. Enemies they thought. Mahadu wa rifikilia. Nari ya bae ni naunga na yeye. Na kuna kile ambacho maadui wanafikiria. Kuna kile ambacho maadui wamepanga. Kuna kile ambacho maadui wanaleta kwa hako. But maadui walikuwa nafikiria. Maadui walikuwa wanafikiria. Can you hear that? Walikuwa wanafikiria. Can you hear that? Walikuwa wanafikiria what I overpower them. Tiuna kumbwa kuna mawazo ya binadamu. Na kuna mawazo ya mungu. But I want to tell you. Usiogope mawazo ya binadamu. Maneki kuna mawazo ya binadamu. Na kuna mawazo ya mungu. So binadamu likuwa nasema mna gani? Ah, we are going to overpower them. But mungu wakasema mna gani? Awa mna fikiria kwa you are going to overpower them. They are going to overpower you. That's your word. They thought they are going to overpower you, but you are going to overpower them. Can I declare this? May you overpower how madui. Maybe madui kwako ni madeni. Maybe madui kwako hata ni watu. That's it. Wana kupagia wishe. Hata ni wachai wana panga wishe. Can I tell you? You're going to overpower them in Jesus' mighty name. They thought. Wata washina. They thought. Wata uwa. They thought this is a day to mepanga. Ile day waliko mepanga ya kifo. Ikawa ni day ya promotion. Ah. Can I tell you? Iyo day wa mepanga. Di utafanya arusi. Iyo day wa mepanga. Di utafungua duka yako. Iyo day wa mepanga. Di ujuba yako itafunguliwa. Iyo day wa mepanga. Diyo watoto wako mtaenda hautu na mzea mkiwa mwerudiana Ata ikuwa mnukua mayachana Iyo diyo mepanga ya kwamba uchopo na mzea mpaka uliwe Iyo diyo di Watastukia kwamba Munonge mpaka maboya manager mpaka kwa Facebook Vila baba mwanekani ya Can you hear me now? Iyo di walikuwa mepanga The same same day Mungu nitumia the same same day Yani mungu na wanyesha kwamba I carry the carrier Muna carry the hapa But mimi na carry the heaven Mungu ni hekisha kwamba They thought they are going to overpower na wayahudi But wayahudi wakati can overpower them. Why God overturned their tables? Mm, I see tables. Zile zime pangwa. God overturning them. Now na meza zina pinduliwa. Who am I talking to tonight? Mungu na pindua meza. That's the God we serve. Mungu na pindua meza. If wali pindua mahali hapa, atafanya tena. He can do it. Who do it in your life? Believe God in your marriage. Tables are going to be, to be overturned now. Believe God, even in the area of your children, tables are going to be overturned. Maybe kuna magoja memsubwa kwenu. Nampaka umerus hope. Kusamu nuna koba, this is the end of us. But mi mekuja usama koba, tables are going to be overturned. I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. Tables are going to be overturned in Jesus' name. It happened here. Madui, wajani kusometa na ibas, manaka ni muhimu sana angalia. Binesema kwamba wale bomba wameingia saa hii tunasoma Esther chapter number 9 verse number 1 wacha nirudie part B nasema on this day i, I know there is that day kuna ile day unakutoka kwa mambo yamekuharibikia unasikia kwamba unakutoka kwamba kuna day unashindwa kuona hii siku eh nimeiona unakuta kwamba hii day imekuwa mbaya kibiashara hii siku unaona nimekuwa mbaya hata kindoa hiyo siku Ine sema kwa that day, that thing, that thing na babaya. Bado mwa sema kwa ata ikiwa hiwa na sema ni siku mbaya. Ana kwa na sema kwa hii number ni na babaya. Iyo wanaita mbaya. Iyo wanaita mbaya. Mungu alipindua meza. Akisema kwa hii mnaita mbaya. Nitamwonyesha kwamba mimi na Isamanya kile kibaya nikifanya ni kizuri. That's it. Hii wanasema ni si na ipindua number 13. Ile unajulikana na babaya. Iyo that thing Mungu alitumia. Can you hear this friend Mataria? That's it. Mungu alipindua if if alifanya harba tuona those days anafanya even today angalia bibi nasema namna gani on this day the enemies kila mtu ana maadui kila mtu ana maadui what the physical spiritual kuna maadui spiritual na kuna maadui physical that's it 
there are people even in your village hawakutaki kama vile mbakwambia kwa there are people kwa village hawataki mambo there are people there kuna spirit has attack you and delay but we say is on this day the enemies of the jews had hoped to overpower them do you remember when and then number says but now but now i thank god there is but can i tell you baba na introduce but in your life they thought they are going to kill you they thought you are going to be deported they thought you are going to die they thought ya kwamba utafukuzwa kwa hiyo nyumba they thought ya kwamba utaibika they thought ya kwamba hautaonekana they thought ya kwamba, but but <laughs> but but the tables were turned <laughs> the tables were turned the meza zilipinduliwa that's the god i'm talking about mungu bana pindua meza Mungu anapindua meza. I thank God one day Jesus Christ. Alienda kwa temple. Then akakuta kwamba kuna watu ambao walikuwa nauza kondoo, mbuzi na jiwa. Then kulikuwa na money changers walikuwa mahali pale. Remember ilikuwa ni time ya Passover. Na hii biashara ilikuwa imevuma. Hii biashara ilikuwa ni ya priests ambao walikuwa kwa temple. Priests ambao walikuwa kwa temple those days you remember. Bible inasema kwamba walikuwa ni wawili but high priest walikuwa nafaa kuwa mmoja but this time around kuna tajo na wawili kulikuwa na Ana na kulikuwa na Kaivas you remember Ana alikuwa ni father in law wa Kaivas wala mbona understand na kusoma bible utaelewa kwamba kwa tempo kulikuwa kuna uzo vitu pale why was this bwana haya mambo yalikuwa yanafanyika hii biashara ilikuwa ni ya Ana walikuwa wanajua kwamba wakati wa passover lazima ungeenda na kondoo au mbuzi ambaye hana rawama so na kile ambacho walikuwa nafanya kwamba ungeenda pana na kondoo yako walikuwa nakuambia kwamba ina rawama Alafu priest wakaleta kondoo zao kwa tempo ili yote ambaye akija sasa ku celebrate Passover wanamwambia kwamba yake ni mbaya lazima anunue kwa tempo. So watu walikuwa na uziwa na wakiuziwa kwa tempo wanauziwa na bei ya juu. Ndivyo walikuwa wamefanya. So hii biashara ilikuwa ni ya Anana Kaivas ni biashara yao walikuwa wanaifanya kwa tempo. Walikuwa nauza kondoo na buzi kwa bei ya juu ili watu sasa wapate kuchinja kwa Passover. Alafu you see now uh, walikuwa natumia dinaris. Bado kwa tempo hawakuwa natumia dinaris. Kwa tempo walikuwa natumia shekels. Shekels. Kwa hivyo ukienda pale kulikuwa na money changers. Na money changers walikuwa na meza zao. So ulikuwa na dana dinaris zako, unabadilishiwa mahali pale, unapoa shekels. Ukipoa shekels, alafu kuna ile e, 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 at least ka kiwango ya juu na badilishiwa nayo ili baki na kuhani. Alafu still wanakutuma pale ununue kondoo still zao na bei ya juu. Mimi zile pesa za za kubadilishana wanapata pale na zile za kuuza kondoo wanabaki nazo. But Jesus Christ alimwambia kwa tempo, akatukoba ni biashara inafanywa mahali pale. Maana ilikuwa ni biashara ya mapasto wa huko. Ilikuwa ni biashara ya priests ambao walikuwa naifanya mahali pale. So what they did, walienda wakafukuza ngombe, wakafukuza hata muzi wakaambia watu wajiwa watoeni hizi kwa kwa kwa, kwa, kwa hekaru maana kile mimi bazini siku zina tonoa sacrifice siku zina chinjo mahali pale siku ya passover na hai jesus christ ameingia nani ambaye ameingia kwa temple ni jesus christ who is jesus christ jesus christ ni high priest so ameingia kwa temple kama high priest na bado yeye ni temple na stili ya ni kondo 3 in 1 ameingia kama temple ameingia kama high priest na mengine kama kondo so alipoingia kwa temple alikuwa anasema no way mna misuse gospel in gospel mna hand of ibaya mna kawa kondo anafaa nisimamie mimi the shadows is in shadow in kivuri changu ni vile mimi nitakufa kwa msalaba that's why mna chinja kondo there is no way mna chinja mbuzi ni kama na mimi nitatoroka kwa msalaba bara ile nimeingia wakati aliingia alifukuza mbuzi anasema kwamba we don't need his mbuzi tena mimi ni mbuzi sana nimekuja kutolewa we don't need kondo tena ni mimi kondo nimekuja kutolewa akafukuza zile vitu alafu kambia the money changers token bila sema kwamba alipindua meza za money changers he overturned the tables of the money changers so hata jesus christ temeringia kwa temple zile meza zilikuwa zimekuwa mahali pale alizipindua kumaanisha kwamba hata leo jesus christ in your family bado anapindua meza mm -hmm. in your business zile meza hazifai anazipindua come on 
common ah, 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 watoto wako zile meza hazifai anazipindua come on Shakota rakazandi garaba boza kaya hata kwa banako zile meza hazifai if alienda kwa temple na akapindua meza the same Jesus hata kwa this nation of Kenya zile meza hazifai zinapinduliwa hata kwa viongozi zile meza hazifai zinapinduliwa hata kwa maimpiz zile meza hazifai zinapinduliwa ana watu nikelea even kwa mataifa ambayo anatusikiza zile meza zimepadwa mahali pale na shetani meza za ugomvi tumezipinda Dua in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mina takwa to bani mbie pastor, you're prophesying to my life. Iyo eru na hita di mungu apindua, diyo baba na pindua. Iyo area unaona kwamba hapa na hitaji meza ipinduliwe. So angalia vile Bwana anasema. Bwana anasema kwamba but now the tables were turned and the Jews got the upper hand over those who hated them. The upper hand over them those who hated them. So hiyo siku walikuwa wamepanga mambaya. Hiyo siku walikuwa nafikiria kwamba watawaua. Hiyo siku Mungu alipindua meza yakageuka. Wakao wale ambao walikuwa wamepanga ni wao walijipa. Mm. Can you hear that? Wale mbolu kwa mepanga. Kile mbolu kwa mepanga kube ni wawali jipangia. They thought ya kombo wanapanga. But ni wawali jipangia. And this is the message. Kile ambacho kinapangwa. Hakita kufikia in Jesus might name. No wonder the Bible says. Ile shimu wa mechimba. Ni wawo watanguka wenyewe. Ile shimu wa mechimba harakoza baganta ni wa watangu not you ni wa watangu kawenyewe it's not you ile shimu wa mechimbo ni wa wananguka so walikuwa mepanga hii siku we are going to kill them but we nesema kwa meza zika pinduliwa wale madui wakashindwa they thought watashinda wale walifikira kwa madui watashindwa ah shakora gazama I feel I'm preaching to myself I just feel like I'm preaching. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Let me just. I feel like I'm. A <laughs> this is a rema word for someone. Kile kiliko kime pango juu ya dua yako, juu ya kazi yako, juu ya toto yako, juu ya mwili wako niskize. Walo wa mepanga wata stuka. Manake meza ziki pinduka. Kile wari panga kino warudi. That's it. Sarah. Nims, can you hear the bone fast? Can you hear this now? Jerry, can you hear this? Look at this. Angali verse number two. Angali verse number two. The Bible says, the Jews are saved, but in their cities, in all their provinces of king attacks, to attack those seeking their destruction. Mm. I'm going to again now. Isiku. Isiku ya tarehe kumina tatu, mwezo wa kumina mili, the mother of Ada. Wakati uliko mepanga kuwa wa Yehudi. Minasima kumba ii siku wa Yehudi watu wakatokea. Ujua kumba hawana woga. Are you getting this now? Wa Yehudi hawana woga. They are bored. Kwa sabu they are being back na sheria na decree ya mwini tolowa na Moridekai. The decree of Moridekai na wapea nguvu. So now they are ready to fight. Kuna maadui. They were ready to fight. That is on why they are ready to fight. Niko sabu they are back in the covenant. They are backed na decree ya bayi metolewa. Hii decree ya moridekai na wapea nguvu. Na sisi watu wa kiroho. We are in a battle. Tuna vita vya kiroho. Tuna pigana vita vya maroho. Kuna vita. Sikiza ukuwa kwa nyumba kuna battles. Hata ni kwa ndoa. Kuna battles kwa ndoa. Kuka pale kazini kuna battles. Not just physical. They are spiritual. Na mapepo na zamani prate anybody. Matis. Ma people ya naeza manipulate anybody. Nataka unitege hapa. Wale marafiki walitembelea job. Hawako unitembelea job kumuinukia. No. Read your Bible. The three friends. Walikuwa wana moja. Walikuwa menyamaza. Walikuwa mdobo. Walikuwa tembelea job. For the first seven days. Hawako wanaongea. Walikuwa na mtuliza vizuri sana. Walikuwa na mkonfort vizuri sana. That was now chapter number one. Chapter number two. Wana mtuliza. But immediately wakati shetani ameacha kutajwa. Kwa zia chapter number three. 
Hatuoni shetani kitajwa. Can you hear now? You see chapter number one of the book of Job and chapter number two of the book of Job. To know what is happening spiritually. To know how he is vital and spiritual. To know how the devil is and the power. So he is vital and spiritual, not physical. So when the mob is in a kufa for Job, it was not a physical battle. It was a spiritual battle. I don't know how to go on and ski. The mob is in a kufa just like that. It is not a physical battle. It is a spiritual battle. The mob is in a kufa. I don't know how to go on and ski. The mob is in a kufa just like that. Watoto wa Job walikufa wote. It is not a physical battle. It was a spiritual battle. I, ini battle li pangwa kwa kiroho. That's why chapter number one, tunona what is happening spiritually. Vile tunona hivo. Divyo kuna battles in a pangwa na programmed in one of the spirit. There are battles programmed in one of the spirit. Unakutoko watu kwenu wanakufa just like that. Not yet kia bo mungu wanataka wakufa. No. No, 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 no. Ni battles yiko programmed in one of the spirit. Mark that. So immediately after that, skiza, joba liko mkojwa, na ule ukojwa si mungu walineta, no way. Ni ukojwa liko programmed in one of the spirit. Shetani ya nasama kwa mwacha ni kuzo mwiri wake. So orendo kwenye urumungu wa kiroho, ni vites miyandari wa palesi na kuja, manika kuna vita kwenye urumungu wa kiroho. Remember yourself, you are a spirit, wewe ni spirit in a tent called body. Mwiri wako unakueka, but wewe ni roho. So kwenye urumungo kiroho kuna mwabu nafanyika. That's why ni viema sana kuangalia zine ndoto unaota. Mleke hizo ndoto zina kunanea sana. Hizo ndoto zina kumbia what is happening. Mleke roho yako wakati umerara. Roho yako hairari. Inenda kwenye urumungo kiroho inapigana. Na vita kwenye urumungo kiroho. So there are battles in one of the spirit. Get this now. Wale marafiko liko wazuri sana. But immediately after shetani kukoso kutaji wa tena. Then from chapter number three of Job, wakati shetani haonekani, shetani haonekani nao vile ulikuwa naonekana akiomba ruhusa spiritually. But remember mambo yanaendelea. But kile ambacho kilifanyika nao, shetani aliingia marafiki. Get this now. Shetani alitia marafiki wa Job. Hapo but then for the first ah, acha nikusome uone. Angalia Job, acha nikusome uone hapa. And the book of Job chapter number 2, Job 2. Job chapter number 2 and verse number 11. Job 2 verse number 11, the Bible says, When Job's three friends, Eliphaz and Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shurahite, and Zophar the Namadite, heard about all the troubles that had come upon him, they set out from their homes and met together by agreement to go and sympathize with him and comfort him. I went to get up to that point. So, Bono Riko Naenda. Bobono wali kuwa naenda hapa. Get this now. Hawa kuwa naenda kuingiria job. Hawa kuwa naenda kuwa naenda job wani mwenye dhabi. No. Wali kuwa naenda kukonfort. So agenda yao. Ili kuwa ni konfort job. So wali enda na wakagiri. Marafiku wa tatu wazuri sana. Wakasama kwa ba let's go to temere job. Kuna shida imetokea. Ni kama mbili tunaweza sikuwa kwa ba buru. Kuna isho mepitia. Tugane hapa kama Facebook class. Tusama kwa ba tunenda kuangaria buru. Kumkonfort. So agenda yao. Wali kuwa naenda kukonfort job. Get this now. So, waliko nenda kukonfort, mark this. So, hawaku enda kumuinukia. No. Waliko menda vizuri sana. Mina sama kwa manamuna gani? To sympathize with him and comfort him. That was the mission. Mission kwa ni comfort na to sympathize. But look at verse number 12. So, when they saw him from a distance, they could hardly recognize him. They began to weep around and they tore their robes and sprinkled dust on their heads. Imagine. So wali pomwona jomu kwa ubali haga mtabua. Manika niko me mwiru wako meja vidoda. Mwiru wako niko natokuwa na damu. Hawangeweza kumtabua. Waki mwona kwa ubali wako mtabua. No wali pona vile jomu wana kaa. Waki tuwe jomu wali kwa tajiri. Jomu wali kwa nataburikana. In fact, kwa get jomu wali kwa ni mtu wa mbae meheshimiwa. Mbae mwena sema kwa bakipito wali kwa akianza kuongea. Watu wali kwa na nyamaza. Jomu wa such a person. Wali kwa meja wisdom. Jomu wali kwa na saidia maskini. Jomu hage kute ukua na kosa kitu. Akosa kukupea chakura. Wali kwa na saidia watu ambao hawajwezi wa jane. Sahi hawezi mtabu wa mekoda, meisha. Mwili wake umeja vidoda na nuka. Kubayo wa mtambui. Wali pona hivyo marafiku wa tatu. Wali laluwa nguo zao. Wakanza kuria kilio. Wakanza kuria. Wakaji mwagilia mchanga. Wakaji mwagilia mchanga. 
wakaenda mpaka mahali alikuwa hao watu hawakuwa mbaya the beginning hawakuwa mbaya walikuwa menda na mission nzuri madat that was job usaitembelea mtu unastuka kana kwa huni rafiki yangu ambaye tulikuwa naye last week maybe amepata accident maybe unasikia kwamba amegojeka abalangalia verse number 13 then they sat on the ground hawakukalia mpaka viti they sat on the ground with him for seven days waliendo wakaketi kwa mchanga hawakukalia viti kwa job losipidi kwamba job hako na viti job ulikuwa tajiri kwa na viti vya maana sana but waliketi kwa ground for seven days wanakaa kwa mchanga this phrase we are not bad ama rafiki wako mbaya walikuwa wazuri sana nionyesha ubaya mpaka mahali tumesoma hawakuwa mbaya walikuwa zuri sana mpaka hapa tumesoma watu ambao wanakuja kutembelea wakati una issues na wakana wewe for seven days na wengi wenu mtatembelea mtu only once hao walitembelea job seven days hawakuketi nguo zao mzuri sana ha huh? aposoro are you hearing what i'm saying these are where they are true friends by the way watu wanaona kutembelea wakati una issues watu wanaona kutembelea wakati wanaona kwamba au na kitu unachokupa wakati umekosa kitu ukata kwamba watu wengi sana they don't visit you unajua wakati umegojeka oh, don't visit the expression nowadays they don't visit you but how ametembea wanakaa kwa mchanga kwa ground for seven good days angalia gozo melarua amejimwagilia mchanga na wanakaa naye hata akiwa ananuka hata inji zikuwa zinakuja mahali pana na kana yeye angalia for how many days Seven days and seven nights. Seven days. Seven nights. Look at this now. Angalia vile Bobo anasema, angalia. No one said a word to him. Walikuwa na kaa wanashuru watambia job na gani. For seven days we are not talking. No one said a word to him because they saw how great his suffering was. So they come for seven days. Wana tumu gidia mchanga wamelarua nguo zao wanakaketi chini for seven days bila kuongea. Wakiona kwamba vile hali yake imekaa. They were good. Si wambaya. Until chapter number 3. Until chapter number 3. They were good for seven days. They were spared. actually they were being led by God for seven days ni Mungu anaongoza until chapter number three now wakawa it is not about God again it is about shetani shetani akaanza kuwatumia na immediately wakati sasa walianza kutumwa na shetani wakati sasa walianza wakati walianza kuongea walianza kuongea mambo mabaya afadhali wangekao wamenyamaza au watoke waende nyumbani wako wamenyamaza bado wakati walianza kuongea walianza kuongea shetani wakati walianza kuongea walianza kuongea mambo mabaya in fact kulifika time ikabidi mpaka job final awaita uta corona waombe paka wagetubu na watoe sacrifice ilibidi watoe mpaka sacrifice soma kwa bible walitinja maneno walikosea but for the seven days walikuwa wazuri sana born after chapter number three wakati now we don't hear about satan again wakati walianza kuongea shetani haonekani but no one on shetani anaongea ndani yao mm. so wakati walianza kuongea shetani aliingia ndani yao wakawa si wao wanaongea ni shetani anaongea ndani yao kuna time marafiki wanaingiwa that's it kuna time marafiki about their so close marafiki about their so close to you watakusaidia for the first one month bara endelea kuwa na hiyo issue by the way watakusema watakurarua watakuanika wanakuanika wanakuanua wanatoa wana, nguo zako nasema kwamba hata vile mnaona pastor mlizi unaona mwanagonia ni mwanagonia ni mbaya hata hata that's why napitia haya mambo ni msherati kabisa huyo hata hawezi kusaidia huyo hata ni ni nini hata nikuchapwa na hata ni kiboko ya Mungu sasa utakutokoba si wao wanaongea nao is about now Shetani amegea ndani yao. Ni mapepo amegea ndani yao. Hawa watu walikuwa wazuri sana for the first seven days wakati walikuwa wamenyamaza. Wakati walianza kuongea, shetani akawatumia. Na wakati walianza kuongea, shetani haonekani tena. Kuna watu ambao ni wazuri sana time wamenyamaza wakianza kuongea kuisha utakipata. Eh, kuna watu ambao ni wazuri sana wakati wamekuja kutembelea kwa hospitali wanyamaze. Wakianza kuongea kuisha. Kwa sababu kwamba hata bwana yake tunajua, eh? 
Katatora na waithira haha. Hamekua na waithira hapa na hata waithira na miba yake. Tunajua bonake. That's it. Tunajua bonake ya nariga na bonake na muna gani. Bonake ya kwa hapa. Gashiro. Gashiro. Wakona gashiro hapa. Gashiro si, si last month kalipata mapata. Na ni, na ni, wa, bon, ni, ni bonake. That's it. Na hajui bonake vile na mfanya. Then wanaongea. Kwa sabu kuna time watu wa bo. They are so close to you wanda indiwa na shetani. Ni shetani ya maingiha watu. Can you hear me now? Ah. <laughs> watu wa mbapira ino watu wa mbona kuinukia sasa hivi tunongea Ni watu wa mbo huh? <laughs> ah. Wanasema kumba there is no risk mamisho hiyo kazi uliba pesa Uliba pesa, uliba pesa, uliba pesa Naza it Hai <laughs> I have seen them. They are so close to you. So close to you. Wana kupa pasa. Wana kumbia uyo. You are so good. You are so good. You are so good. Seven. Why is that seven days? Ziishe. Zikisha wakia nza kuwangea. Shetani ya na yongea dani yao. Wata yikisema mwe nye 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 wana nikyo take hika. Dibuza hata hata holewa. Wanazema kumba hata metuwa miba sita. Hata ya tano tulikuwa na eni mini mwemboreka. Yule daktari, yule daktari ya kopale na ivasha. Sini mini mwonyesha wa daktari. Ni mini mwonyesha wa daktari. Ametuwa miba saba. That's why hapati mtoto. Miba saba ametuwa. Hawezi pata mtoto ametuwa miba saba. That's it. Iyo damu inaria. Nani, nani, yani alianza kuongea. Kuna marafiki wikini wako na fatu wa nyamaza wa siyoge. Muki nyamaza tu mtakuwa sawa. Have you together? Muna ilo wakile nasama? Andy Kesh, can you hear me now? Na vani muna nesikiza. If una joko ba ukiongea, shetani ya naigiri hapo. Nyamaza tu. Nyamaza tu. Kuna hatu wapo wakienza kukutumia text. Wata kutumia text mba kwa ustuke. Uleshindo hawa watu na mna gani? Hawa watu na fatu wa nyamaza wa siyonge. Na kuna marafiu kine tafadhali ukiwa na uki nyamaza. Tafadhali usi wachokoza wa oge. Wacha tu wa nyamaze. Mepini hawa marafiku wa tatu wa nini? Wajo wakienza kuongea. Oh my good God. Ha. Shakara bababakara mamazando bokoza bakaria Hey Jesus, 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 Jesus Are we together? Are we together? Oi, oi, oi Waliku wazuri sana for the first seven days Antiro wakati walianza kuongea. Walianza kuambia job mambo mbaya. Wewe hata nini? Wakamwekelea mambo. Wakamwekelea mambo. Wakamwekelea mambo. Paka wakati Mungu alikuja. Ilibidi wao wenyewe. Waombe msamaha. That's it. That's it. Maneke Hii vita ya kiroho, hii vita ya kiroho, kuna watu mba, wakati unapiga na mapepo, pasa mwere hili, kene, unachu, wakati unapiga na mapepo, uneza fukuza mapepo, ayo mapepo, that's why, nataka tuwele wana hapa tafadhali, manake, this one is very serious, this one is very serious, I know of a pastor, ameriko naenda kufukuza mapepo, but hako nataka za cover kwa nyumba yake, akifukuza mapepo ya naenda kwa nyumba, Wanaza kukubana na bibi yake. Wanaza kuchapana na bibi yake. I don't know for pasta mbani ya na kufukuza mapepo. Arafu na kutukubazi ya na mapepo. Alikuwa na kuku ameweka mingi. Akutukomba wadrofu zimeanguka. Kwa nyumba zimeangukia kuku zote zimekufa. Na ni mapepo wamefukuza. So mapepo nisikize. Ya natumia watu. Demons their spirits. Na kama vile mungu ili ya fadha kazi mahali yapa anatumia bina damu. Desemwe mapepo anatumia watu. Na so usifikiria kwa moto kutana shetani hapa kwa barabara. Hakuna shetani utawai kutana hae kwa barabara au kwa town. Harukoto kwa mba driver hiyo wa hiyo gari ni shetani. 
Hautaikutana kwamba ati kuna gari na na shetani. No. Bali shetani anatumia watu. They will try to fight you. Shetani kitaka kupiga anatumia watu. So that's why it is very important watu wengine usiwasikize. Manaka kuwasikiza they will limit your life. Ukisikiza watu wengine wanafanya mwenye mwenye uko na bitterness and anger in you. Sikiza vile Mungu anasema. Ah, sharaba bokoza. Ah. Kama sasa tunaombea Simon kama hapa lazima tunaombea Simon kama huko lazima tumbombee kabisa. Eh, tunaombea Simon tunakuombea kabisa. Ah, na Mungu anasema atatenda. Mm. Na nimebe kwamba mahali na kaa alifukuzo mahali na kaa. Ah. Simon kama we are praying for you. Na tunajua kwamba lazima Mungu atatenda. Alifukuzo mahali na kaa. I believe Simon kama we, you can confirm this kana kwamba ulifukuzo au bado. That's it. I know kwamba Mungu anapindua meza in the name of Jesus Christ. Mungu anapindua meza in the name of Jesus Christ na baba anatenda. That's it. And we're going to pray you kama, kama class. Watu mwono wa Facebook. We're going to pray for you. God is there and God is going to fight for you. As you can come and mahari pa kurara au haja pata mahari pa kurara. Ata confirm. Hakuna kitu kimbaya kama wakati au uko Kenya uko nje na umefukuzo mahari unakaa na sasa au na kitu ya kufanya. And I believe God will serve about to know mahali hapa ni Mungu bwana pindua meza anapindua meza. We believe God for that. Anjoko bata confirm hapa tuambie kana kwamba alifukuzo walikuwa na uh, anaamini Mungu yakuwa ma Jehova kaota mtendea makubwa. That's it. Nikumbuka kuna text ile 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 leo kaniambia kwamba ajui mahali ataenda kurara na ajui ni wapi kwa sababu na rinistua kama urinistua jana usiku jana wakati uh, unini, uh, usiku niliamka nikakuta kwamba kuna text mliandikia nikaiomea sana akanambia kwamba account yake imebaki only 500 it was 520 i remember kit 520 na akanambia kwamba hana pesa nyingine mbele wala nyuma nako sijui yako nje wapi atatuambia hapo nje sijui is it denmark or wapi hiyo ndio pesa ilikuwa imebaki na mahali ilikuwa na kaa amekuja amefukuzwa hajui atapeleka vitu wapi na 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 akanambia kwamba at hiyo pesa nikakuta amenitumia at hiyo 500 ya kona tunayo kwa account ati ametuma kwamba ah watoto huwa tunasaidia ni wape hiyo 500 ndio imebaki nayo akasema kwamba hii 500 nimebaki nayo nimesaidia au watoto a uh, wajisaidie mi wacha nibaki hivyo god aone vile ambavyo sasa nimesaidia hao watoto ile 500 walikuwa nao mebaki nayo peke yake na ko nje na hana kitu kingine bila wana nyuma akaniambia kwamba hiyo pesa ati ameituma mimi niko nataka kumrudishia kamulibu ni mrudishie but nikaona kwamba amenituma ati nipeleke hao watoto tunasaidia hapa na ni 500 ba hana ingine akaitoa ati ipeleke watoto hao nilishindwa nitamjibu namna gani imagine amefukuzwa na 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 mia tano tu but ameitoa kwa ajili ya watoto wale watu wote wanasaidia watoto yatima but we believe God tonight nisikize God is going to overturn them come on you come here with that power of testimony na unahitaji you need to hear this message in fact nakumbuka jana niliandika usiku kaniambia kwamba uh, ajui anapenda sana kusikiza mahubiri bana ajui atasikiza haya mahubiri akiwa wapi ajui atasikiza mahubiri akiwa wapi the god we serve and the god we pray he will fight for you in Jesus name In fact let me tell you something nataka nisikize <clears throat> I 
and I believe this. I believe this. Kuna kitu macho Simon ni mbeka ni jenga sana. Kani bia testo mga mbia kwa mba. Mungu wa limpereka mahali pale. Amene mahali pale ya mesoma. Amesoma. Narida pale kusoma. Amesoma. Kena mahali pale ya kasoma kabisa. Kani mbia kumba hata, kuma, hata kufanya form, uh, form 4. Ye mwenye vile lipata mtu na kamburi pia kama sponsor. Uh, Na vile likuwa meguka mala kwanza mala pili hafu ufainali ya kapita. Anda na kenda huko sasa. Akaito by the way kwa na mpaka huko. Kenyo kwa na kufanya huko. Na mesoma. So we are going to pray for you. We are going to pray for you. Mungu wana pindu wa meza in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Simon Mungu anapindua meza in Jesus might name. Very soon. You go video to hapo umeandika hivyo. Very soon you're going to testify. Kile baba anafanya kwako. Baba anaenda kufanya makubwa na maajabu. Ulinisitoa kusema kwamba ile 500 ati umebakisha. Umeona kwamba ati uitumie watoto we ubaki bila kitu miatano upewa watoto ya timu wasaidike we ubaki bila kitu but let me tell you it is not in vain it is not in vain it is not in vain we are, we are so many we are going to pray for you god is going to give you destiny connectors destiny helpers god is going to connect with what to about God is going to open doors for you. Who knows can I come and move on the collector? How Papa said to hear this message. You surprised me. You see, when you came, I'm going to come and I'm going to your message. God is going to locate you in Jesus' mighty name. May all your destiny helpers locate you right now. May you receive calls from all from all directions in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Madui walikuwa mepanga watanga mizo wa Yahudi. But God of the tables. That's what God is doing to us tonight. That's what God is going to do tonight. I know there are so many people that are going to connect with the Kamau, Maneke. We're going to help him with it. Manak it is very important. I know there are so many people that are going to connect Nakamau. Nakamau, you are not alone. We are praying for you. We are, we are here to support each other. Especially Mutombaya na Jitolena na Kuja Hapa. Mungu wali kureta mahali hapa. Na kuna ire sababu. Kuna matombo. Baba naleta. Who knows can I come and move on hapa for such a time as this? That's <laughs> uh. it. That's it. I, I know that I'm going to come and hapa on the Zima. Come on, bad dog. I'm going to meza. Come on. <laughs> Akina mweza kumambia God. Mbaba na pindu wa meza in the name of Jesus Christ. Mbaba na pindu wa meza. So, listen to this. Manake baba na pindu wa meza. Tonight. Mbaba na pindu wa meza. Kadika jina na sikuwi. So, whether uko huku. Shakonda garaboza kele baza. Mmm, makozi bishana garaba zopa karama. Yeah, mwana gonia, you're prophesying, you're prophesying. You're prophesying, kuna mtu mbae hata rara usiku leo. That's it. Kuna mtu mbae hata, utokutu kwa bababa ta star miwe ya watu right now. Ala star. I know watu, watu wa, wa inje huwa na shikiriana sana. Come on, the same God wa bairi kupereka hapa, the same God who fight for you.
God is there. God is there. This is a message. Meza zika pinduliwa. Meza zina pinduliwa. That's it. That's it. I know, I know what I want to talk about. I know, kuna nimsu wa kimbia kwa mahali ya palazima. Ata, ata nini? Ata, ata saidia na that number. Nimsu wa kimbia, I know kwa mba yu still communicating na ye. Hmm. Makoza bagaribosha katana mazanda. Yes. Listen to this now. We in the book of Esther. We in the book of Esther. We in the book of Esther. We are in the book of Esther now. Angalia now. Angalia tafadari. Angalia mahali hapa. Sasa nataka unisikizi manake. E chapter now about spiritual warfare. And I'm going to teach you tonight about spiritual warfare. Nataka unisikizi now. It's very simple. It is not complicated. Vilo watu unaifanya. It is not complicated. You remember now. Hama na mauliwa. But still, kuna decree ya kifo. Na kuna siku ya kifo imefika ile mwa wanafaku kufa watu wa yahudu wa uriwe. But now, ile covenant, ile decree imepeanwa. Iyo decree inawa empower kupigana hii siku. Even as today, ile covenant imetuza. Inusaidia kupigana vita vya kiroho. You see, mungu agesimamisha haya mbago nasima kwa mbakuna vita. But there was battle that day. Even today, there are battles. Na kumisikiza, there are battles. Kuna vita tunapigana nazo. Mahari popote ulipo, wada uko Kenya, wada uko India, there are battles. Kuna watu wabota kuidukia, kuna maro hata jiribu kufuata, there are battles. Vile mbavu nafaku ula komba, you are more than conquering Christ Jesus. But kuna hizi vita, nakatu welewane hapa, angali vila walikuwa napigana. But sahi hawana uoga, sahi wakona boldness, kwa samona juu komba, tuna covenant. Let me read for you now. And all the nobles of the provinces and his Satraps, mark this. Ah, uh, but the governors and the king's administrators helped the Jews because fear of Mordecai had seized them. Galia verse number four. Uh, look at that. Mordecai was prominent in the Paris. His reputation spread throughout the provinces and he became more and more powerful. Mark that. Mordecai said, Nim to Mkubwa, Nakumez. Fika ila siku ya vita nao. Ile siku sasa wanafaa kuliwa. Wayahudu wametokea na nguvu bila uoga. Mara kisa hii wanajua komba tuna boldness. <laughs> wanatokea na boldness. Wa kriso, it doesn't matter what you're going through, be bold. Na kuna mawili likuwa na wapea boldness. Mark this ni nini na nini. Verse number five. The Jews struck down all their enemies with the sword. With the sword killed and destroying them and they did what they preached to those and they did what they preached to those who hated them can you can you imagine so what it to me a sword kuwa why sword the word of god manaka kiri abati unafaa kutumia kupigana vita vya kiroho mark this it is the word of god use the word of god to fight battles mark that they use the word of God to fight all battles. No matter what you're going through, speak the word of God. No matter the battles, speak the word of God. Ujua kiri kina wapea nguvu ni mawili. Number one, kuna new decree imetokea. Number two, moridekai ya baya na wasima mana wao ni ya naungoza, ni ya prime minister. So, wanapewa na kujua koba moridekai ya kwa wapi, Na wanapuwa nguvu na kujua kuomba, kuna dekiri na wasaidia. Na sisi tunafaa kupewa nguvu na nini? Na hile covenant ambao tunajua. Iyo covenant ambia kuomba Jesus Christ ambia shinda vita. Iyo covenant ambia kuomba nguvu. Then another thing, tunafaa kupewa nguvu na kujua kuomba Jesus Christ is reigning. Jesus Christ is reigning. Jesus Christ is as our Mordecai. Anajulikana all over. Anatawara. Because of Jesus because of Mori Dekai, we're going to sana. We're going to be going to because of Mori Dekai. Zile vitu na pitia. Number one, understand the covenant in a kupia nguvu. Number two, Jesus. Then number three, speak the word. That's it. Understand the covenant in a kupia nguvu. That's number one. 
Then I said number two, Jesus Christ, Mordecai. Then number three, use the word. Use the word, the sword, the word of God. Use the sword. And then in the city of Susan, the Jews killed and destroyed 5,000 men. They also, very important, they also killed Parashadath, Daraphon, Aspath, Parath, Adaria, Aridatha, Paramashata. Woo! Majina Magina, someone has kept up. One of the ones of Kinakoba and speaking tongues, eh? And Arishai, Aridai, Vaisatha, the ten sons of Haman, son of Hamadath. The enemy of Jews, but they did not lay their hearts on the brother. <laughs> I like this one. So, Haman aliuliwa, but he called what to kumi. What to kumi hawa kuliwa. What to kumi ni skize. Hawa kwe kwa kwa msaraba. Wale po ni pigana na watoto kumi ni wa Yahudi. Haman hawa surubiwa, but watoto wana wapiga. Shetani arishidwa, but ni situ na defeat mapepo hapa. Using the sword, word of God, Shetania got defeated. But in the city, we put on Guvu. Yale ma people na zuguka huku na Shetania meshindwa. Turn pe Guvu. Watoto wa Haman. But we are ten. Watoto wa Haman. Number ten is piece of law and human responsibility. That's number ten. So are you watoto wa Haman? Imagine kana kwamba wagi watoto wa Haman. Wa get revenge. Shifiri baba keri fanyo. Wa get take revenge. Huh? How much in a I wish can a couple to nezat some work in a dinner video and a manishon as a stuka sama. Can you hear this now? And how Nime kunyo kutangaza siku wa leo. Sio Haman tu anawekwa. Sio Haman tu paka wa toto. Descendant wa Haman wa kangamizwa. Ini sasa kusikuwa na amare kaitu wa bebaaki. Hakuna mapepo na baki ya kukusumbua in the name of Jesus Christ. Follow me now. Masa number 11, the Bible says the number of those slain in the city of Susan was reported to king. Uh, that same day, the king said to Queen Esther, the Jews have killed and destroyed 500 men and the 10 sons of Haman in the city of Susan. What have they done in the rest of the king's provinces? Now what is your petition? It will be given to you. What is your request? It will also be granted. Esther now. King anambia Esther. Kuna kitu kini unataka. Madui wa meuliwa. Wala mburi kuna fikina kubwa watamuwa. Madui wa meuliwa. Can I declare this? Enemies what? How what are you in the name of Jesus Christ? All your enemies. Madui how what are you Hear this now. Madui how what are Wayahudi waka defeat madui wao. Na sisi na zima tutashida madui wetu. Hawa tuwezi. Madui hawata tuweza. Come on sister. Come on sister. Come on brother. Madui hawata kuweza. That's the thing. Hawata kuweza. They defeated all their enemies. They killed them with the sword. Paka king na wakambia esa. Kuna request ikino nataka nita kupea favor. Hey, hey, look at this. I like verse number 13. If it pleases the king, Esther answered, Give the Jews in Susan permission to carry out this day tomorrow also. And let her stand sons be hanged on the girl. Hey, Makalobo Zata. Wacha tu ata tomorrow, e vita yendele. <laughs> Wacha wa hudu wa zidi kupika na vita. Alafu kubarisha hawa watoto wa haman. Ah, waweko komsaraba. Kwa nini? Kula aniwa ni ambaya meagiko kwa mti. They were cast. Wamela aniwa. Na mfana mwa kwa peru husa wapika na vita. Say, kuna, e wangari vila wapika na vita. Look at this. So the king commanded that this be done. Ah! And then verse number 15, the Jews in the Susan came together on the 14th day of the month of Ada. Wakatukia tu siku ya 14, ilikuwa ni siku ya 13, ili sasa ulikuwa uliwe. But vita ikandila mpaka siku ya 14th. Why 14th? Manaka number 14 is a number that speaks of salvation. Is a number that speaks of generations. No, 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 no. Number of speaks of also, not only salvation, but also deliverance. My 
you. Salvation. So for teeth under, they put to teeth in a Susan 300. <laughs> but they did not lay their hands on the Awaku and Ataka Mariao. I don't know Jacob had to the Jericho with your man do he to not the Jericho because of God. That's who one of our but it's still how to quit Mariao. When the fit of a pick of this day, even the next day, Nabado Anashida. Anybody who can hear my voice. May God empower you to fight all those battles. I know kila mtu kuna ile vita napigana. Kila mtu wana vita yake. I know kuna tuwanambia pasta ile vita napigana. Niki maisha. Vita napigana ni ya kikazi. Ni ya kindua. Ni ya watoto wangu. May God empower you. May you enjoy the victory of God. The God about repair victory. How are you? The same God. I to pay a victory. You have victory along with you. Usi okope sister. Ile siku liko mepangua mabaya. You're going to enjoy the victory of God. That's it. Look at this. Meanwhile, the reminder of the Jews who were in the king's provinces also are able to protect themselves and get relief from their enemies. They killed 75,000 of them but did not lay. Angali how attack him aliao. How attack him aliao. Wana jokoba ni mungu na pea na pesa. Wana jokoba ni mungu na tupea mari. Wana wahua but hawa pokonye mari. Remember. Walikuwa na right ya kuchukua kile ya macho. Wakipigana vitu walikuwa na, na right ya kuchukua hiyo mari. Prada, spoils. Wakechukua. Mara wataki mari yao. Wanajuko ba God abaya tumetumikia. Bado watatupea. Nasa wanapigana vita. Wachukui mari yao. Awa ni watu wabona juwa mungu. Look at this. Ah. This happened on the 13th day of the month of Ada. Ile siku yao. Walukua mepangiwa wa uliwe. And on the 14th day they rested and made it a day of feast and joy. Imagine wali pika na vita siku ingine. Wakifanya ni siku ya feasting na ni siku sasa ya joy. I repeat from Tobana Nesikiza I know. I know you are fighting today. But tomorrow will be feasting. And you will enjoy. You are fighting today. Maybe today is your 13th day. But tomorrow, you'll be feasting and enjoying. Kile mbato wa mekupiga miya. Or it began on the 13th. It's beginning of 14. Wakaifanya kuwe feast. Na wakanza ku enjoy. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. That's it. That's it. Look at this. The Jews in Susan, however, had a seaboard on the 13th and 14th. And then, excuse me, and then on the 15th they rested and made it a day of feasting and joy. When we began a vita 13th, 14th, we began a kidogo. Then, and after we began a 15th, still, the day of feasting. And joy. Why 15? When I get number 15, the Bible is a number of rest of fulfillment of the law. Number 15 speaks of rest of fulfillment of the law. Rest of fulfillment of the law. Wakawa na feast. Ah, karama zaka. Kuna watu wa mao watasaribriti very soon. They will celebrate very soon. They will celebrate very soon. Kuna watu wata celebrate. That is why to reduce those in the villages observe the 14th of the month of Ada as a day of joy and feasting. A day for giving presents to each other. Imagine Wakifanya 14th day wala mbwa wako kule nyumbani. Very days. Wakifanya na mna gani ya koba ni siku ya kupea na presents one another. Yani unaletea midreader, unaletea gift. Evangelist mwiko unaletea gift hapa. 
eh mwana mwingine anaita gift yani we celebrate walikuwa walikuwa mapangio mabaya baada wakati walianza ku celebrate wanapelekeana mpaka gift anaita shiners gift yana niletea why they are celebrating the doings of god <coughs> just imagine and believe god right now kuna kile ambacho baba atafanya and i believe tutakuwa na mambo very special tonight wakati tunamalizia the book of esther and like your names for the good job names ameweka pale the, the number of simon mahari pale uh press 4 59 32 03 017 anasema kwamba Simon wifi yake imekuwa disconnected so hawezi kuwa nasi imekuwa disconnected but kuna namba imewekwa mahali pale I believe you can get that namba yake mahali hapo uh, and very very important listen to this now ah hey, hey, hey. i know very soon kuna watu ambao wamefuatilia hapa sisi kusikiza ya mahubiri but very soon i can see you rejoice na unakitumia watu gift Thank you baba ameniinua job nimepata copo nimekuwa poa doi imekuwa poa Florence naona watu kitumania gift imagine so watu wanapenda gift celebrating for all God is doing Ah And there was number 20 Mori the Kai recorded this event and he sent letters to all the Jews throughout the provinces of King of Texas Nia and fa wakadikiwa barua mhm akareko that day i like this look at this to have them celebrate annually the 14th and 15th days of the month of ada ikawa sasa ni holiday <laughs> iko kuna siku mbili kila mwaka watakuwa na celebrate mori de kaya kaandika barua imagine barua ikaandikwa <laughs> watu wote siku ya 14th na 15 iko sa kila mwaka kila mwaka watu wao wana celebrate imagine ilikuwa ni vita but finally ikawa ni celebration ya kila mwaka hivyo ndivyo baba anapidua meza ya kwamba ile ilikuwa ni vita inakuwa ni celebration that's it and i believe kuna watu ambao watakuwa nakumbuka someone ya siku leo kila mwaka maana ki brief kuna kitu ambacho baba atatenda katika jina la Yesu a brief kuna meza zinaenda kupinduliwa na kila mwaka watakumbuka yani kuna watu ambao watabariki na watoto mahali hapa atakuwa nakumbuka siku ya leo yani kuna watu ambao watolewa watakumbuka siku yani kuna watu ambao barua zao zitatoka watakuwa nakumbuka siku ya leo can you hear that lady karanja can you hear that mm Tafadhali Mark verse number 22 verse number 22 is a key verse verse number 22 is a key verse key verse look at this as the time as the time makoza bakari ba as a time when the Jews got relief from their enemies watakuwa na celebrate ni time walipata relief from the enemies that's a god i'm talking about and akupea relief from your enemies and as a man Oh my god as the mother and as the mother when their sorrow was turned into joy yani mori de kaya kaandika barua ya kwamba siku ya 14 na 15 wao wana celebrate kila mwaka wakikumbuka kwa ule wakati Mungu aliwafungua aliwakomboa kutoka kwa mwadui that was number one. walikomboa leo kutoka kwa mwadui then number two, ni mwezi ni mwezi my god May this month be that month in Jesus mighty name. Angalia. This is a month. Angalia and the month and the month. Wao wanakumbuka the month. Wao wanakumbuka the month. Who am I who am I releasing the, this remo word to? And now wanakumbuka the, this month. <laughs> Wao nakumbuka this month as a month as a month when the sorrow was turned into joy. That's it. Meaning kuna time baba na turn sorrows into joy. Kirio kidakuwa furaha wewe wanakumbuka huo ni mwezi huo ni mwezi baba alibadilisha kilio kiwe ni furaha may this month be that month may december be your month wakati tunamalizia mwaka may december be your month mungu alibadilisha kilio chako kikao furaha mbona ndekaye kaandika barua watu wana celebrate date 14th and 15th 
kama ni ile siku walikomboa kutoka kwa maadui that's number 1 walikomboa kutoka kwa maadui number 1 number 2 ni siku Mungu alibadilisha kilio chao kikawa furaha may god turn your sorrow into joy i say may god turn your sorrow into joy kile kilio melia kwa ajili ya watoto wako kile kilio melia kwa maana umeinukiwa umelia kwa maana hauna kitu may god turn your sorrow into joy may this month be that month Baba mabadilisha kilio chako umelilia biashara yako umelilia bwanako umelilia uolewe umelia kabisa may this month be that month baba na turn your sorrow into joy may this month be that month when their sorrow was turned into joy and their mourning into day of celebration remember ni siku walikuwa nafaa wauliwe bali Mungu akabadilisha sorrow to joy akabadilisha mpaka morning to celebration that month Mungu alibadilisha sorrow into joy and morning to celebration father i speak that word ikuwe ni rema word kwa watu wanifuatilia ugao baba kilio chao kiwe furaha morning to over go ikuwe ni celebration jesus mighty name may this month of december coming law ukuwe ni month yao kilio wamelia wameomboleza baba wengine wamelilia maroho yana wamelia kwa ajili ya maroho yana wakalia law i speak tonight father shama garobo shakarama may this month coming december be that month kilio chako kinakuwa furaha kuomboleza kwako kunakuwa celebration in jesus mighty name May verse number 22 of Esther chapter number 9 be your verse from today in Jesus mighty name. May this verse be your declaration. Mungu anapindua meza katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Can you hear me now? Mungu anapindua meza in Jesus mighty name. Mungu anapindua meza. He wrote them to observe the days as a days of feasting and joy and giving presents of food to one another and gifts to the poor kwa maana Mungu amewapea ushindi mkubwa oh shakaraba wakati siku ya kupeana zawadi na kusaidia maskini it is my prayer baba akikuonekania usisahau na watu ambao hawajiwezi That's it That's it Mordekai amewaambia barua kwa barua ni Mordekai a picture of Jesus Christ amewaambia kwamba hii siku mna celebrate Usisahau wale ambao hawajiwezi Tunaelekea December time watu wana celebrate usisahau kuna watu ambao hawawezi wape kitu December wape kitu. Arombe kwa tembo ya celebrating. Tembo na celebrate, mna celebrate your feasting. Don't forget the poor. Remember the poor. Imagine Mungu amekupea hiyo kazi. Imagine Mungu amekufikisha mpaka mahali hapo. Because you are going to celebrate. Wakati utaanza ku celebrate maana unaenda ku celebrate. Usisahau. And I want us to declare this month of December. I want just nataka kuchukua tu vile ilivyo. I don't want to nini. Nataka kuchukua vile ilivyo. If the 12th of the month I know I know be bit like don't fit December, but I feel it in my spirit. What to make up even now the 12th of the month tunaingia December kwetu. Tengeza kwamba ndivyo baba natenda. That's it. If it tendeka kwenye 12th of the month yao, na sisi tunaenda kwenye 12th of the month yetu December. Let's breathe God. Zip let's breathe God that. If you remember nafanya soro zako zinakuwa tantu joy morning to celebration Two of the month yako december 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 that's it think about that The Bible says declare a thing and it is going to be established. So we can declare that na tutangaza imetendeka na imekuwa hivyo. Yeah. Is done.
This month tunaingia December. Expect something from the Lord. Expect Mungu kubwa kutoka kwa maandui. Expect hiyo kazi umeobea. Hiyo ndo umeobea. Wazazi wako umeobea. Expect kuna kitu kinaenda kutendeka. Jesus name. Angalia basi namba 23 mbapo vile Bible inasema. So the Jews agreed to continue the celebration they had begun doing what Mordecai had written to them. They obeyed Mordecai when you are feasting obey Jesus Christ. When you are feasting and celebrating that's you always insist wakati una birthday. Obey Mordecai. For Haman son of Hamadad, the Agagite, the enemy of the Jews, had plotted against the Jews to destroy them and, and had cast the poor, or that is the lot, for their ruin and destruction. But when the plot came to the king's attention, he issued written orders that the evil scheme Haman had devised against the Jews should come back on to his own head, and that he and his sons should be hanged on the gallows. Therefore, these days we are called Purim from the word Pur. Haman and Kome cast lots. Kisama Kome, you do siku watauriwa. But meza zika pinduriwa. Kile Kome panga, kiko warubia. Haman wa toto wake wakawekwa kwa msaraba. Mahali Kome nataka kwa kamoride kai wa wakawekwa. That's it. What is that? Ni mungu wa maina pindua meza. Ni mungu wa maina pindua meza. Angalia. Because of everything written in this letter and because of what they had seen and what they had, what had happened, the Jews took it upon themselves to establish the custom that they and their descendants and all who joined them should without fail observe the two days Every year. In a way prescribed and at the time appointed. Angalia. These days should be remembered and observed in every generation. By every family and every province and in every city. Sama kwa barazimu atakubuka urushidu muapea. Na nivima sana mungu akupea victory. Don't forget the victory of God. Don't forget kile mungu mekufanyia. Don't forget. Many times wana kutoka wakuna watu wengi sana wana sao. Kile mungu wa muatendea. Don't forget. Don't forget. Iyo siku wakawa na ikubuka. Don't forget. Look at this. And these days of Purim should never cease to be celebrated by the Jews, nor should the memory of them die out of their descendants. Kami kubo, wasuwa isahao, vile mungu wa mwashidania kwa Haman na watoto wake, na vile mungu wa mepindua meza. I know, kuna kitu, kuna meza zinapinduliwa. Usuwa isahao, mahali mungu wa mekutua. Usuwa isahao, kuna time likuna liya. Baba kabadisha kiliyo chako, kwa fra. Usisa hao mahali mungu wa mekutua. Watu wengi sana memory hui na potea. That's why wikini wanaata mpaka mungu. That's why wikini wanaata kutoka but they don't go to church. Wanasa hao mahali mungu wa mwatua. That's why wikini wakoba they don't respect even my pastors wao. Wamesa hao mahali mungu wa mwatua. Remember kuna time hao kuwa na kitu. Remember kuna time hao kuwa meolewa. Remember kuna time kuwa na ngangana kupata ten bob. Kuna watu wanasa hao. Kamuko mwaswe isahao hiyo siku. Vile meza zime pindulo vile wame shida ni wana mungu. Uswe isahao in your life. Uswe isahao. Look at this. So the Queen Esther, daughter of, of Abihail, along the morning with the Mordecai the Jew, wrote with full authority to confirm this second letter concerning Puri. And Mordecai sent letters to all the Jews in 127 provinces of the kingdom of Ataxis. Words of goodwill and assurance to establish these days of Purim at their 
designated times as Mordecai, the Jews, and Queen Esther has decreed from them, and they had established for themselves and their descendants in regard to their times of fasting and of lamentation. Is the sequel called confirmed? Even if you are talking Esther's decree confirmed these regulations about purity, and it was written down in records. Ikawa ni kubu kubu. Walikuwa nalia, walikuwa nafikina kubu atawuliwa hiyo siku. Wakati meze mepuindula sasa, ikawa sasa ni kubu kubu. Wanakubuka kile ya macho. Wamefanyiwa. Iyo siku. Na zait. Na zait. Look at this. King Ataxes imposed tribute throughout the empire to its distant shows. And all his acts of power and might, together with the full account of the greatness, the greatness of Mordecai, to which the king had raised him, and they, and they are not written in the book of annals of the kings of Media and Persian. Mordecai the Jew was second in rank to King Ataxes, preeminent among the Jews, and held in high esteem by his many fellow Jews because. He worked for the good of his people and spoke up for the welfare of all the Jews. That was Mordecai. My memory is in a video Mordecai is the second in rank. And he is the mambo kwa ajili wa Yahudi. A picture of Jesus Christ. And he is the mambo yote mefanya is because of us. That's why in memory, the book of Esther imemalizia Mordecai akiwa juu na Wayahudi wa celebrate Jesus Christ ako juu kwenye mkono wa kulia wa baba na kile ambacho kinakuja kwetu na the reason why ako mahali pale this kid cause he worked for the good of his people and spoke up for the welfare of all the Jews May that be your portion in Jesus' name. As we pray together tonight, brief God, meza zinapinduliwa. Brief God, meza zinapinduliwa in Jesus' name. Baba, umetua nekania wewe ni yebeneza kwa maisha yetu. Mahali tumefika ni wewe. Wewe ulipigania Wayahudi kwa maadui. Umepigania hawa watu kwa maadui. Wewe ulipindua meza Jehovah God, umepindua zile meza baba zinawafuata. Umepindua hali zao na maisha yao. Umepindua baba zile vitu wanapigana nazo, umepindua Jehovah God. Unawapea ushindi bwana kilio kinakuwa kicheko na furaha kuomboleza baba watakuwa na sherehekea Jehova watakuwa na kumbuka mwezi huu na mwezi wa Disemba ya kwamba mwatendea wale bwana hawako na kazi mwapea kazi wale bwana na wagoti wamepona wale bwana hawajolewa wameolewa wale bwana dua kuna issues umeingilia kati wale bwana kuna vita baba na wapigania katika jina la Yesu Kristo wale bwana kuna nyongo usiku hawanyongwi tena wale bwana kwa wamefungwa na maroho mabaya miondoka wale bwana Jehova anaweza kuomba anaweza kuomba wale bwana nasumbuka baba na Mwaleza mwa mwapika lea kanega jina wa Yesu Kristu. Jehovah God wale mwana vidoda vimeisha. Wale mwa wangaweza kutembea wana tembea. Wale mwa wange pata watoto wamepata mapacha. Wale mwa mefungwa milia wamepona. Father I speak you here now. Mbaba tunapumalizia hiki kitabu. Vile tumemaliza. I speak bikiri kwa hawa tunatangaza ukomozi tunatangaza miujiza father tunatangaza promotion to hope god tunatangaza enlargement kwa biashara zao tunatangaza baba favor wanakubalika mchango unawakubali anga inawakubali mataifa baba umewapea kwenye mikono yao mataifa yatawakubali offices zitawakubali bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo father i speak your flow i speak 
speak your anointing. I speak your grace upon these people. May your glory manifest. May your glory manifest. May your glory manifest, Father. May your glory manifest, Lord. I want to see your maskini. I want to see your kusubuka. I want to see your kunyongo usiku. I want to see your kuwata noto maya. I want to funguri wa Jehovah. I want to funguri wa Jehovah. In the name of Jesus Christ, they are celebrating what you are doing to them, Lord. They are celebrating you. My zaos make you reunited. Katika jina la isu. Kuzo na mbogo wa ndoa. Ziriko zifrisike, Father. Natangaza doa zao zika simame. Doa zao zika simame. Doa zao zika simame Jehovah. Doa zao zika simame Jehovah. Doa zao zika simame Jehovah. Wala mbogo na foto mbogo na uchawi. Na ya uganga. Nimi ya leta chini ya mbigu yetu. Maroho ya masetan. Masetan iso doa. Maroho ya ruminati chini ya mbigu yetu. Maroho baba na madhabahu mabaya. Haya na nguvu kwa yetu. They are delivered. They are healed, Lord. Patten zote mbaya kwa hao. Nime zikata. I cancel those patterns, Lord. I cancel those patterns, Jehovah. I cancel those patterns, Jehovah God. I speak thy cover upon them. I speak thy cover upon them, Lord. I speak thy cover upon them, Lord. I speak thy cover upon them, Lord. Let us have connections, connections, Lord. Let us have connections, Lord. Let us have distant helpers. Let us have connections, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Let us have connections, Bikali ya shanda, balumbu ziti kanda Kuna kini mwana tafuta visa Na itisha yu visa Mbapo wa kakubarike katika jina la iskuruso nga Rupa kiribusha kataraba Konde gerea rata kanda Ripa ko zimbi galabo Shata karabaya Wikini mabazili ofisiso na ingeno wa itisha ya favor Katika jina la iso kuruso Fad I say this in mipango ya uchawi I say this in mipango ya uganda To hova gao, matabahu ya mepando Ani meyavunja, foundation is out And by I bring those foundations of gao Pina za kishetani zimevunjika Manano liyoto mkwa baba kwa hao na yakata Na fungo watoto hao Watasoma jehova gao Walabua na watobo melezo wa kospitari Wamepona instantary In Jesus mighty name Walabua na ufimbo mwenisapia Walabua na problem ya macho Maba kari za rata Walabua na diabetes pressure Ime disapia Cancer ime disapia jehova gao Tuma ime disapia Vaino fada Bakozo bika la mamoshan Uchungu kwa mwili Wenda ni kwa mgongo fada Ule uchungu me evaporate ule uchungu ume evaporate ule uchungu ume evaporate I speak the cover of your power 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 oh shalababanda ripa kozo bagata kazo bobo shari ya laza ripa kozo begalaba shalalala dololo zekeleba marohe na fota watu usiku na kata marohe na zungu Muka nyumba zao na kata Maru wana zunguka maisho na kata Mitengu ni kumetekwa Mashimu wa mechimbwa Duvu kalile lekele maloza kali ya lako Zama hala baya la loya Rilo shololo kalalala malalalo zekeri baya Rapako zobaka atu kuzo bokota Ripaka zobari ya shandi gele baya Zupi kari ya shanda Netangaza baba power Netangaza manifestation of your power Hiri in that atmosphere Netangaza watu wana kumbolo usiku leho Netangaza deliverance all over Netangaza deliverance all over. Let us all over. Let us deliver us all over. Let us deliver us all over. Let us deliver us all over. Mikono iko funguriwa baba. Doa ziko funguriwe. Ngozi ziko funguriwa bwana. Utasa ukabisa pia Jehova. Shakarabo shendegere ba rararaka ndololoya. Ripako zubakandi bohosha baranda. Watu wako na kuita. Wengine wamepiga magoti. Wengine wamelala Jehova. God they are calling upon your name. Jelele zala kholi la zabo gosha Jehova. Wengine wamelia for so long, miaka kumi, miaka ishirini father wa meomboleza, wengine kuna mabu wa mewafuata, ata wadui ya mabu wa metoka wapi, wa meomboleza so wrong, father, onu wapanguza machozi yao vini metumbia kumwa na pidua meza, father, hizi meza zika pinduliwe, meza zika pinduliwe, father, rila lo zupa, kelelele kende, lelele kende mahala mo, lila lo leali ka shopi kanda, mabu natangeza motu uponaji, motu ukombozi motu ukombozi familia zika kombolewe, mabu wa gine Shikana mikono kama familia Na watoto wao Natangazo ukombozi kwa maisha yao Natangazo ukombozi kwa maisha yao Father, favor Wale mbua kwa Kenya natangazo favor Wale mbua kwa inchi natangazo favor Shamba galotoke zibikali bakando mokoza Father, muu shiri lizali ya shanda Father God, thank you for Simon Jehovah God Lila lakali ba lakala ba ya ba Ripo koteke tekele lakali mokozi bikili lizaya Father God, shapikaya shomi galandi giri Lili lili keba kozi bikaibu 
Shana Baiza Lananda, La Pacose Beke Belizai Bosha Manda, Ritetekelia Shabi Botia Zanda, Father God is well, Father. Really, the Zopika Umetena Quake, Meshake Mekombolo, Hareke Mekombolo, Madame Mekombolo, our to Father. We enjoy Baba Kilia Matu Mopea. Watakubuka huu mwezi na next man Yakobo ulibadlisha kilio chao Ulibadlisha mungu machozi yao Ulibadlisha baba huzuni yao They will celebrate Manake baba na wafanya wa celebrate Katika jina Yesu Christo Tuluma na kwa mini Amen 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 You are there you have not received Christ in your heart. This is your opportunity. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe your resurrection. I believe that you died for my sins and you were raised for my justification. I receive you in my heart and I confess with my tongue that you are Lord and Savior of my life. From today, I'm new creation in you. I am born again. I receive new spirit, a new heart, a heart of flesh. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I believe I'm born again. Amen. Amen. Umiokoka. Na hauna tambi tena. Uwe ni kiumbe kipia. Na umefanyo mtakatifu. Ya kale ya mepita. Tazama yote ya mekua mabia. Father, wale ba umiokoka. Wadumishi kwa naima yako. Uwane kanie. Roho wako mtakatifu wazidi kuongoza. Kukila hali na kukila jambo. Katika jina alisi kristo. Umana kwa mini. I just feel God. Just feel the presence of God. Heavy presence of God. Chochotu kukwa kina kusumbua. Mungu wa mgini ya kati. Believe God vile tumemalizia. The book of Esther with a celebration. Unamalizia mwaka with a celebration. In the name of Jesus Christ. Vile tumemalizia the book of Esther with a celebration. Tunamalizia mwaka na celebration. Trust God. Ametenda. In Jesus name. 0726 511 is my number. 0726 511 is my number. Tomorrow is a day who are kanisani whole day praying for people. sana kwa ndia saa bilito kupara kanisani praying for people. Wadabu wana maitaji text me. Tomorrow ni hile sikuwa tunombea na chukua those text all of them I pray for them. Na kile mungu huwa naweka kwa mwe wangu, sometimes inaadikia watu. That's it. So, God bless you. Mungu wa monekanie. Tumamaliza the book of extra. We are coming back na kitabu ingine mpya. Takuwa bendi gani tomorrow. So, wacha nitabu watu watu mkuna wa hapa. And I thank you kwa kuwa pomoja nasi hapa kutufuatilia. Nyinyi mabarikiwa. Nyinyi ni watu wa majabu sana. Kate Bob, God bless you. Sarah Karen, God bless you. Esther Mwagi, God bless you. Felix, yeah. Felix, ya natukubusha kwa mba, maybe umebariko na yukitabu ya Esther. Nasuma kwa mba, I want to tap that grace of the book of Esther. I have this offering. There is our team number there. Imewekwa na Felix hapa. 67, 78, 15. Nasuma kwa mba, nimebarikiwa sana. Pastor, umebariko sana yukitabu ya Esther. I have enjoyed that. And I receive the grace. I connect myself with that grace. Pole liambia wa Filipe kwa mba, iyo give you umetoa. Ume, umekua partakers of my grace. There's any grace likuwa na Pauli. Wakati wa Filipe wali support Paul. Ali umbe kwa mba umekua partakers of my grace. So unwezi mba kwa mba mimi ni mbabiko na yukitabu. I want to partake that grace. Iyo tumepata kwa yukitabu. I want to partake to that. So there is what you number there. 6, 7, 7, 8, 15. You can give your offering. Wakati wa maliza yukitabu. You partake that grace. In Jesus name. Thank you, Midred. God bless you. Shamga. 
Shine us, God bless you. Edikesh, Samuel Rongo, thank you. Makeboas, Stephings, thank you. Mary Karanja, nasema kwa barikuwa, barikuwa down, barasai ya mejazo. Jane Gon, thank you. Dokas, uh, Becca Otiono, thank you. Abida, Tom Wamoyo, God bless you. Thank you, Felix. Sarah Emery, barikuwa sana. Karo, thank you. Pauline, God bless you from US. Mary Wajiro, thank you. Jerry, thank you, thank you. Wise favored men. Nani Sekarioki, Samuel Rongo. Wow, so many here. Wajiko. Waja Moses. Ruse Ngendo, thank you. Heren Lee, Maina, barikuwa sana. Uh, Sarah Wesera, sumoko barikuwa na hitaji that one. Thank you. Katie Getonga, Evangelist Michael. God bless you, Royce Maina. Oh, my, my, my. Maura Gonia. <laughs> I agree, by the way, I agree. Nasema kama tuipeane ya masori na majibu. There is no problem, there is no problem. Kama sahi tumemaliza, kitabu na tunafaa kuingia another book. Shiko, God bless you. Kirimba, God bless you. Nitram, barikuwa sana. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, why, why, why? God bless you, God bless you. Wow. Thank you. Kuna watu wana nilikia message ya wazo hapa ni tamu sana. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, glory to God. Karo in favor, mungu mbarik sana. Kuna watu wana nilikia messages hapa zina nijenga sana. Kuna watu wana smoke of pastor. Oh, thank you. Kuna watu wana connect na that word. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, okay. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Wana mbo mbo sijajibu messages hao. Nitajibu. <laughs> nitajibu. Kuna messages mix na nitajibu. Kuna watu mbo na... Tomorrow ni adikia razima nitajibu. Yeah. So, njini noto mbajabu sana. Ana mbarikiwa sana. Thank you. Thank you kwa watu mbona sifu kwa pastor I connect na grace of that book to mamaliza uh, Naona watu wengi sana hapa They're doing that May you, may you never lack In Jesus name May you never lack in your life May you never lack in the name of Jesus Use joroge Barikiwa sana Barikiwa sana Barikiwa sana Jerry Kamau you are blessed You are blessed You are blessed Hmm Hiyo kitabu, hiyo kitabu ime nijenga sana, hata mi ime ni, ime, ime ni yarimisha mabu mingi sana. Kuna mabu hata misi kuna jua hapa, nimejua. Ya, yeah. mabu hata misi kuna jua hapa kwenye kitabu ya Esther. Tutangalia ni gani mabu hata tuongoza kuchabua kwa wazia tomorrow. Mwaragone ya agree with you. Kuna siku moja tokuwa na tuwa wasi, uliza tu suwa lime kusumbua. Na tumesoma vitabu mingi sana. Salamu na smako wabu maikonekna hiyo kitabu, thank you. Oh, lukuse, beso. Eh, ulikuwa api, oh. Yeah, yeah, but he, he don't miss that one. That one ni mzui sana. Don't miss that one. Just revisit. Na itakujenga sana. Itakujenga sana. Itakujenga sana. So, wano mbomo menirikia messages ya jibu. Tumono itakujibu. Uh, na bado kusema si ya jibu. Does not mean ya kwa si ya honest gini ni me honest gini nini. But na hiyo mbea. But na kutuko kwa sometimes ni mingi. Wakati mingine dreams ni mingi sana. Watu nataka interpretation of dreams. Na before wadike sasa kwa kila mtu na take time. Muna kutuko mba. Unasahawe ya last week. <laughs> Mtoto wa Yesu. So wale batu napata na tomorrow for deliver the service. Tunokana ya tomorrow church. Kuna time na kuombea watu tomorrow. Names God bless you. Mm, wale boa kwa karibu area. Kuja tuombea that business. Wale boa. Oh, oh, if umenunuwa gari. Wache tukuja tu dedicate to ome yu gari. Tu imuagiri mafuta yu gari kwenye baraka. Hato kinunuwa roli. Tu inonuwa, tu inabariki tu ikuwe ya baraka sana. Yunis Macharia, ata roli yako tu ibariki tu na shamba, na ikuwe tu ya baraka, na baba onekane. Yes. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. <laughs> ah, tutasikiza wada hii. Oh. Kuna watu wabwana mwena kwa mba walikuwa na nipigia Just do it tomorrow Do it Do it on 
Wednesday. Tomorrow naweza kuambia ni kosa kuchukua kwa sababu tomorrow the whole tomorrow huwa nasoma text to peke yake tomorrow kwa sababu na kuacha the whole day. Kwa hivyo nipigia maybe Wednesday uh, or Thursday. Kuna watu ambao nimepea wanipigie a Thursday wengine ni wapewa nipigie Thursday. Mm. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Yeah. Hiyo namba iko na WhatsApp by the way iko na WhatsApp. Hiyo ya Simon iko na WhatsApp ya Simon. Yes, I na WhatsApp. Wow. Wow. Nikuna wao tu sana baba mabarikiwa na na text na na mixer na mnitumia hapa. Mungu abariki sana uh, wale ambao mnaendelea na kazi Mungu amuonekanie we meet tomorrow tomorrow katunaendelea tusikize vile Mungu atasema Mungu akisema kwamba tomorrow tujibu maswali no problem akisema tu give the book of Romans the book of Ruth the book of Genesis the book of Ezra the book of Nehemiah the book of Obadiah the book of uh, the book of Ephesians uh, 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 the book of Matthew isi unajua Unajua tumekaribia December na December tunakuwa tunakumbuka about the, the birth na mambo ya Christmas na kuanga na vituko mingi sana. Na baada tunataka tufike time tuchabue mambo ya Christmas. So kuna sambo za bonta teach about Christmas. So tasikiza vile mgo tusema tunaweza unaweza kukuta kwa tumeingia Matthew. <laughs> Nataka this December usi celebrate just for that nataka ujue mambo mix and about christmas kuna mambo mix and about christmas tu sasa tunafaa kusoma yeah good night god bless you shalom eh hey, mwananya ndaro uko uko umekuja toka tunamalizia eh <laughs> ay 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 okay Mm. 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 Eh, you need much cuz I like Leviticus. Kwa sababu ni symbolic yote. Napenda sana Leviticus kwa sababu ni symbolic yote. Sisi blessed na nasema kwamba Romans. Uh, na bado mkumbuke kwamba tunaenda December na December kuna mambo ya Christmas. Unajua kwamba ile kitabu cha ingia Uh, maybe maybe kwa kitabu ikikuwa kitabu ambao si kubwa tunaweza maliza before December 25th kwa sababu nataka at least the two weeks before Christmas naka tu 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 tuongee tuulizane maswali about Christmas eh na yana mambo watu wanafanya what ni nini what do you need to know about Christmas kuna issues mix na mambo juu about Christmas tunawafaa kuangalia na kusoma na kusoma yes kwa hivyo let's wait tomorrow Abida 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 sasa kama tunapenda Mika, anapenda Mika sana. Anapenda Mika sana. <laughs> wow. 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 Na hakuna mtu ambaye anapenda Philemon. Hakuna mtu ambaye anapenda Philemon. Anasema 24 chapter. Mwana sawa kama wewe ni Berians. Anaba. Ah, mwene 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 ndarwa diandike text. Mwene ndarwa niandike text tuonge. Yeah, we are going to talk. Just text me. I love to talk yeah. Text me. Mwana kuna sema kwamba ya kwamba he sasa what do you mean by this is the book of revelation why does you can come to go and wait to the book of revelation na vile revelation ni kubwa na unachukua mezi mix sana kuitambua hii ni kubwa sana then the book of daniel tumeitambua imagine and in still to na song of songs tumechambua tumechambua judges eh sasa tumechambua esther imagine those sio kana kwamba watu wanaenda wanajita kwa committee na rudia kitu tumesoma 
Oh, Nalisa Wakaba na sema kwa I have joined you today between Nikupata. Oh, oh God. Karibu sana. Kuna watombo ni wageni, wamekuita. Hey, na. Wageni, karibuni sana, karibuni sana, karibuni sana. Tumeku tukichabua Bible, kitabu kwa kitabu. So, kuna vitabu katha tumechabua. Nakatu maliza yote. Yes, 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 yes. Shalom, man.